Hello there, Nicole Dragasek here. Today we're going to be talking about Google Hangouts. There's just a few things we need before we can get started. First, you want to make sure that you and everyone who's going to participate in the Hangout has a Google account. Many of us in education already have Google accounts through Google Apps for Education. I know at the ESC, we've had our regular email accounts, for example, mine and Dragasek at ESC18.net, converted into Google Apps accounts. If you aren't sure, I can look that up for any of our districts here in Region 18. Just shoot me a message. Next, you're going to need Google Chrome's web browser. Google Chrome is going to give us the best experience when we're dealing with any of Google's applications. You also want to make sure that you're signed into Google's Chrome web browser. This will make sure your account details sync over when we're playing with those applications. Finally, you want to make sure that you have Google App Launcher. Google App Launcher is like a little system tray, kind of like the Start menu, that will give us easy access to any of the Google applications that we install from the Chrome Web Store. If you aren't sure how to do any of these things, no worries, I'll post some instructions below the video. Okay, let's get started looking at Hangouts. The first thing that we want to do is install the Google Hangouts application. I already have opened my Google Chrome Web Browser, which is the little web browser with the green, red, yellow, and blue icon. To get to any Google application, it's always easiest to type whatever the application name is, .google.com. So if I was trying to go to Google Drive, I would go to drive.google.com. To get to Hangouts, I would go to hangouts.google.com. Google will automatically handle any sort of corrections that need to be made to the URL, and it lands me right on the Hangouts page. I want to install the Hangouts app, so I'm going to click the Get Hangouts button. It's going to ask it for what kind of device I would like to install the app. I'm not going to cover installing Hangouts for your mobile device, so we're just going to look at installing it on the computer. This is actually a Google Chrome extension, so it'll pop up and say, would you like to add this to Chrome? And I do, so I'm going to click the Add button. And now it's going to show up in my app launcher. I'm going to go ahead and open Hangouts by clicking on Hangouts from the App Launcher. And it's going to show rotating arrows in a green circle as it starts to load. And then here I can see a list of all of my most recent Hangout conversations. Now that we have Hangouts installed, I'm going to show you what it's like when you're invited to participate in a Hangouts video call. You'll need to have Hangouts installed prior to being invited. You'll see the call appearing. And when you click, it'll tell you that there's a video call coming in, and you can click on the video call button. This will launch a new tab in your Google Chrome web browser. By default, you're going to see yourself at the very beginning. Once you click Join, it'll default to show the presenter in the main screen. Then at the top, you have options to invite people, mute your microphone, turn your webcam off, adjust bandwidth settings, or open the settings for the video call where you can change the different inputs for your camera, your microphone, and your speaker output. You can also choose to end the call. Over to your left, you can open and close the group chat, choose to share a screen, take screen captures of the event, or draw. The Draw app is to draw on your face. It's not to draw as in a whiteboard. It'll actually attach the drawings to your face until you wipe them off using both a pen or some stamps. You can even attach some text to your face. Once the drawings are attached, it'll follow your head around as you move. And you can use the trash can at the top of the Draw app to remove all of the drawings. And that's how you use the video call Hangouts app. 